Welcome everyone. Uh, this is our change project on extensive the company uh, and our, pre our presenters will be Rikal Belknap, Nicholas Bennett and Sager Walker. Uh, introducing uh, the introduction on Extended, it is a third party logistics software company based out in El Shindondo, California. Prior to being extensive, the company has been named 3PL Central and focused solely on the warehouse management software. In 2021, the 3PL Central acquired three other companies, Scouted Specialization Warehouse Management, Scoopanana, which is specializes in order management, connecting 3PL companies with their own customers, and Cart Recover, which specializes in e-commercial integration in 2022. The products were rebranded under the name Extensive. And now uh, going forward with the focal problem to change on that company. Uh, the focal problem of the change effort, the company was a great value and, and is a wonderful place to work. The biggest drawback is the projects seem to be consistently missing their deadlines and need to be pushed back. Uh, the cause of this is taking a huge ambitious project, not enough staff for the man hours required to complete the projects and deadlines. People wear many hats and thus stretching the between the current in and natives. Prior to merging, each company had been around for at least a decade and had their own process and procedures. While people will work well together and cultures have been cohesive, process and procedures have not. The main underlying problem is that there is no defined process and procedure for the project plans, especially when it comes to the capacity planning. Instead of pausing to the plan and getting everyone on the same page, the direction have been to build car as being driven. The consequences of the problem is consistently the projects miss the deadline and need to be pushed back, limits employees from being able to effectively serving the customers, customers inability to complete tasks or have an easy time using the software. A higher than a desirable percentage of your churn, customers jumping back to ship and finding other swapper than one year in contract. Employees not knowing who to ask to complete the task and not having revival commitment dates. Why solving is important. The company has been an outstanding culture, but the stress of the job, having to wear multiple hats and thumbing through the company's growing pings the leg to a fair amount of turnover, especially with the leadership teams, directors, consumer support, and marketing. Enhance has been all a great culture by cutting down on the stress, anxieties, and the employees by knowing exactly what expected of them. Cutting down year one churn is a high priority as it affects the company's profits. As for the knowledge section, this problem experienced by Extensive is an organizational behavior problem. The problem of products being completed late is due to a lack of effective procedures and processes throughout the company. These processes and procedures are managed by those higher up in the company and have not been effectively communicated down to the lower employees. Therefore, the root of this issue can be directed to the organization. Some topics that explain this issue is uh, the lack of organizational control. This is meaning that the processes which an organiza organization uses to influence its employees to uh, achieve company goals. Right now, Extensive is in need of having goals to begin with and then also effectively communicating that with all of its employees. Due to uh, Frustrations for one reason or another. There are a lot of employees that also feel like there is a lack of job specialization. They feel like they don't have a specific job and they are frequently required to go above and beyond what they were hired to do to make up for the ineffective processes. And this is another uh, topic from us that can explain this problem. One experience that provides more depth and clarification for this problem was when our team was working on completing a project when we were interrupted by a manager who informed us that we had to stop our work on this current project and to work on a separate project we have had not worked on before. This project was already but past its completion date. And so my frustrated team decided to work on this new project. We got it done, but unfortunately 
getting this new project caused the original project to also become late. Now to further define some more technical terms um, that can help provide some extra depth, um, that job specialization that we are experiencing a lack of entails the breaking down of jobs to the simple components and assigning them to employees. And currently within extensive, uh, the lines are very blurred between who is responsible for what in what job title and um, it has a lot of need for improvement. Now, the desired future state for extensive. For extensive, we want to establish um, to, to establish more robust product management teams. This would enhance the individual products and tools um, and where the project managers would focus on projects within their department. And this ideally would result in the projects being completed on time. Um, hiring more managers can increase um, the number of people who are focused on these tasks and can make it so our, the capacity to get things done um, is higher. This can also uh, lead to more accurate commitments and uh, project planning so that we uh, completion dates can uh, better be kept. And then uh, to add to this, we uh, want to uh, lead to better functioning software so that um, we have the better ability to uh, enhance the rollouts that are coming. Uh, overall, we want this to lead to more satisfied customers, which uh, would make products a lot easier to sell. Now, instead of people being asked to do things without checking their capacity to do it or what the job title is, uh, we want to establish better workflows that, that would be assigned so that way people know exactly what they are responsible for and it can be done and employees will feel like they actually have accomplished their goal. This will reduce the anxiety and stress that each employee experiences as well as their managers because they know which um, realm that they need to work within and can feel like they are able to accomplish these things. This will ideally decrease that turnover rate, making it so our employees do want to stay with the company longer. And then as far as our goal, something that makes these ideas and uh, our desires a little bit more concrete and more attainable. So as far as our SMART goal, we want to establish a four-step organizational control plan by the end of the quarter. And this will help the entire organization to know what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and how to measure if we are actually obtaining this. Now, before the goal, right now we are experiencing very disorganized uh, processes and procedures, which is resulting of many of our projects being delayed or um, completed past the due date. After implementing this goal and that plan, we want to reduce the pretended percentage of projects that are delayed to under 10%. Now this will resolve the focal problem because as we improve these processes and procedures to make them more effective, the company will begin to work smoother and decrease the completion time of each project, which will make it so our company becomes a more reliable company to work with. Thank you. I just want to talk about here now the support that's needed from the different uh, people within the company to meet our changes, our desired future state and our goals. So starting with the chief officers, um, chief officers need to really sit down and discuss how they want to move the company to move forward with uh, universal reporting procedures and communicate that downward. The problem being is that company re recently underwent a merger with three additional companies, so it makes for a lot of mixed processes. And so as the company 
continues to move forward, they need to refine and reevaluate all the procedures that the different companies had and make one universal procedure. Um, once they have a kind of a vision for how they want to do that, they need to communicate that downward to their VPs and directors of the different departments to then which they can create standard operating procedures or SOPs for their respective departments so that they can be followed and um, teams can kind of begin to establish a routine when it comes to completing projects. And with that, uh, managers need to be meeting with their respective teams to make sure that deadlines are being met, procedures are being followed, and if there are any questions or problems that arise with projects, that those can be addressed and fixed quickly. And so um, other things that could come out of meetings would be brainstorming potential solutions and um, maybe discussing ways in which the project can be completed more efficiently so that they can take those processes that work and use them for future projects. Um, and again, tying that back into the universal um, vision that the chief officers have outlined for the company. Um, another thing that I wanted to discuss was convincing people that change is necessary. I know that we talked about previously already that the people within the company are aware that procedures aren't implemented and in place yet and that change needs to happen. And so some other ideas that we had with that was um, identifying departments and teams that fall short. And so um, meeting with those teams that may not meet deadlines and improving upon them, analyzing them, seeing where things went wrong so that they can continue forward, moving at a regular pace, keeping up and following SOPs. And again, just kind of making the company universally structured because without the current, well, in the current state that it is in, right, there's no, there's no accountability or um, firm deadlines that people seem to listen to and people seem to just kind of push things off and it'll get done when it gets done right and so um, as long as the company begins to implement some kind of structure and and unify these four companies that have come together it might help with the future state of the company some other ideas that we had as far as uh, supportive communication between departments um, and within the whole entire company. Um, streamlined communication is the key, right? So as you as you work on projects and things come up, if if we aren't communicating those problems to our team members and to our our managers and our leaders and those above us and those below us, um, and communicating what needs to be done, then it's just going to ultimately fail as a project. Um, setting clear parameters for the project, setting firm deadlines, setting um, objectives and goals and when they need to be completed by is always a good way of making sure that projects are being completed. And more commitment from team members, like I previously stated, um, team members seem to just kind of go at their own pace and get things done when they they wish to. And so there's no, there's that absence of structure within the company and so um, I also wanted to address consequences for meeting and not meeting deadlines I know consequences tend it usually has a negative tone but it can consequences can be positive right so um, whether that's praise and recognition for those that do achieve their work and meet their deadlines or you know punishment or discipline for those that do not and changing and refining those people that may fall short or those departments that may fall short to better fit inside the company to make deadlines be met in the future. And again, just that whole idea of a universal company, uh, one one mind and pushing forward into the, the future. So now on to actions. Uh, the actions we need to take is the deadlines. Uh, they need to break down the projects 
focus on the action at a buffer time and don't overcommit on it. Uh, through the culture have become in tune, but the process and procedures have not. Uh, we need to leverage their teams, look for opportunities to automate and roll out new processes. And for the understaffing, too many people are wearing too many hats, assessing the staffing needs, implement the technology, add temporary staff and outsource tasks and consider some internships as well. Uh, understanding these actions, understaffing is because the structure of the company since the merge did not employ the more needs staffing to fill those positions. They were created from the merger, the deals these rules they need to make and more leadership opportunities to be appointed for action. Through the merger, the companies were able to move into the culture of the company, but not the different procedures and protocols in the workplace. Didn't align so they couldn't work together. They need to reassess what they need to do. And the timeline to fulfill these action is currently being disorganized rate at 9% of the delay. By the end of the quarter, have a disorganized rate at 10%. With the understaffing, the company will reassess the staffing needs and Archer will put out multiple roles to fill by the end of the year. The protocols and procedures will be sent out and the meetings held to resolve those problems at the beginning of each week uh, using the new roles and appointed uh, to leadership and authorities throughout the company. And that is it all for our change. Thank you again uh, for our presenters, Rico Havana, Nicholas Bennett, and Sager Walker. Thank you again for listening to our pr presentation. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. Thank you.